In today's video, I'm gonna talk about connecting to the Evolution Cart battery using a Bluetooth app on your phone. The first thing you're gonna do is go to the App Store and search for BBMS. There's two different apps, one's called BBMSS and one's called BBMS. Typically go for the BBMS one. Uh, both will kind of work and act relatively similar, but let's do BBMS today. Once you've got the app on your phone, just launch the BBMS app and you'll get to this really disappointing screen, an empty device list. If you pull it down, it'll refresh and look for devices, but it may not find anything. For you to be able to find your battery, your cart either needs to be on or your cart needs to be plugged into a power source so that the BMS is alive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my cart on first. And once it boots up, you'll see that green light on the side of the battery. If that green light is on, your, your battery should now be discoverable. I'm gonna pull down on the list again, and I see two HC08s. It doesn't matter which one you select, just choose one of these HC08s. The next thing you're gonna do is click automatic. And what that does is it starts pulling the battery for updates, saying, hey, give me updates, give me updates. So here I can see some information about the battery. I can see how many cells it has, how many cycle numbers. So my battery has been charged 59 times from empty to full, essentially, uh, and different information about it here. I can tap these different tabs at the top. This is the temperature of the battery, a little graph of temperature readings. Um, we have V, the voltage of all of the different cells. So you can see inside there different cells and look for any discrepancies. You might see one cell that is way less than others and you would be able to see that here to potentially identify a problem. The last two tabs have various states and so you don't need to worry if some are red. It's really just kind of showing. This is what mine shows. So this is M and this is S. I'll go into the S tab. So it is normal to have a couple red, so that's not an emergency if some are red, but that is essentially how the app works. So there's nothing too exciting going on in here, but if you are having issues with your battery or are worried about it, you can download the app. If you're thinking about buying a used evolution cart, it might be handy to have this app and see how many cycles the battery has gone through and potentially check out if the cells look relatively normalized in this V section that everything looks good there. If the app disconnects or acts up, sometimes I find the best thing to do is swipe up and kill the app the other thing you can do is turn off your cart and turn your cart back on, and that will clear out any active Bluetooth connections. The BMS only allows one phone to be connected to it at a time, so you can really only get one connection. So then if you go back into the BMS app, pull down your device list, you should see them there, be able to get back in, hit automatic, and that will start your data syncing again. Um, so I hope that helps. It's a little bit of a weird app. The user interface is not the greatest, so get a lot of questions and see a lot of questions about how it works and why you would want to use it. It's okay to use, you know, for debugging or diagnostic purposes, but fundamentally most, you know, Evolution Cart owners don't use the app every single day um, that I'm aware of. If you guys use the app for something, uh, put it in the comments as to what you're using it for um, and how you find it helpful. But uh, overall, those are the things that I've seen inside and uh, some different things that you can check.